Hi, uh, this is Suprana, Suprana Dash from Calcutta. I am a photographer slash artist based between Calcutta, India and New York City. My work is about uh, gender, sexuality, identity and on the global human condition or about social injustice and everything that social documentary falls within. Okay, so how did I get into photography? I was a fine art painter back in 1998. Uh, this was when uh, this was my chosen career. But slowly I realized that I wasn't good enough to sustain it. And uh, then photography happened by chance. And uh, then I did a bachelor's in uh, 2013 in photography from the School of Visual Arts in New York City. While uh, photography uh, is important and it's the chosen career path, painting is the base of everything that I do. My inspirations uh, come from painting. Uh, I was uh, doing my advanced diploma in fine arts painting from Maestro Printer uh, Ramananda Bandhapadhyay uh, from the Bengal School of Arts. Uh, and then I switched into this. My photographic vision would be to use uh, the skill set that I have acquired and uh, the learning of the arts to uh, use it as a tool for the betterment of the society to raise issues and concerns of social justice and wherever uh, photography can be used to make uh, the world a better place. Okay. So uh, this is my uh, favorite image of uh, Sarthik, who's a gay person. Uh, Sarthik is a young gay uh, makeup artist. He explores his identity, deeply influenced by social media trends, music, and performance arts. Here he is illustrating I see you, yet I don't, that addresses the Indian society's attitude towards the others, that is the members of the LGBTQ community. This image is very important for me as uh, this is the mantelpiece of uh, my project, Eros and its Discontents, that has been going on for the past few years. Eros and its Discontents explores the lives and desires of individuals from the LGBTQI community in, living in India. Uh, as we know, uh, India is a religious, conservative and homophobic culture, which is very quick to marginalize and discriminate the community the LGBTQI community. So here uh, illustrating this image with Sarthix uh, is very important. And so this is my very favorite image. What makes a good image? Uh, since uh, these days I'm delving a lot into uh, social documentary practice. So what I am looking out for is the three Ds that I call depth, dignity, and details in each image. That's how I feel like uh, that image out of all these billions of images that are being loaded into social media, uh, the few images that stick to us are those that have the triple Ds, uh, depth as in emotional or spiritual depth, dignity as in how the photographer has managed to showcase or show the subjects in good light. And the details is all the details that we can get from this particular image that helps us in the better understanding of what it is about and what are we uh, looking at. My favorite photographers, it depends on every different project because I uh, switch between different genres. So whenever I am doing a certain project, I'm looking at uh, the photographers who has done works on those genres before me. So as of now, like I'm looking at uh, the photographers who have worked with uh, the LGBTQ and for the Euros project, I'm looking at uh, Peter Hujar, Robert Mapplethorpe, Katina Reins, a few uh, contemporary photographers who are doing amazing work in the field uh, with this topic. So uh, of my 10 pictures, this is one of the most favorite ones. 
This is from the project uh, Marginal Trades, which uh, documents the business, business trades and uh, professions of India. This was my thesis project in 2013. I started photographing this uh, in 2011. Uh, the image on the left is of the band party boys who earn like uh, say six dollars on assignment photographed in 2011 on the right it's a street typist who earns uh, 12 and a half dollars per week for also from 2011. Uh, these uh, professions are on the verge of extinction and i have been noting down how much they earn in a week and tally it with the number of family members they support which brings the political dialogue about exploitation, deprivation, neglect, and lack of social reforms. India chooses to overlook the plight of these helpless masses who earn below the minimum wage mark and are rapidly, rapidly falling below the poverty line. Uh, this image is also uh, from the same project, Marginal Trades, which is chapter two in color. Here we see uh, the snake charmers, the young snake charmers, which are uh, eighth generation, and they are here outside a uh, makeshift camp in Varanasi and their elders are sitting right next to them. They are all carrying non-poisonous snakes. And I managed to have this image. These are the final, maybe the final generation of these nomadic snake charmers who will like in this profession possibly. And because these kids are going to school, some of them don't want to be in the same profession due to the social and the caste stereotyping. Okay, this image is from a project that I did on the internally displaced uh, persons or IDP from Kashmir. We call them the Hindu Kashmiri Pandits. On the right is Hina, who's age nine. Back in 2013, I photographed her and other family members and other people from this camp of these nomadic people whose actual birthplace is Kashmir, but they have been thrown out and they are nomads now roaming all about India and they cannot go back uh, to their own land due to terrorism. The diptych, this is a diptych on the left. I have created the studio still life that depicts their current condition versus what they were used to, how they used to live. So it's like a contrast and compare I'm doing. This project is called In the Pursuit of Happiness, which deals with domestic spousal abuse in India. This is also a mantelpiece image for that particular project where we see a father and son in a lonely beach in Mondarmoni, which is a tourist locale for honeymoon goers. Uh, the father is holding the groom's headgear, which is worn during marriage. And this man on the right S is wearing his bridal attire. He was uh, arrested on false accusations of uh, Article IPC 498A straight from his marriage hall and spent 14 days in police custody. So I photographed this. Um, this image is uh, from a project that I did on uh, my iPhone. Uh, it's called uh, A Study in Pixels, Meditations on Light, Spirituality, and Chance. Uh, these are basically portraits uh, that I used uh, to deconstruct via uh, digital codes where it alludes to different forms and that might allude to different ideas or different images. This is my current project, uh, Eros and its discontents on the LGBTQ community living in Calcutta, India. On the left, you have Tamugno, who is a male abuse survivor. He came to visit the studios and that's the day we made his portrait. Uh, it's one of my favorite. And uh, on the right, you have Swarnalata, who's a trans lady, a uh, trans woman who came up to visit uh, after a few months of her chest surgery. And we made this image inspired by uh, the Ajanta fresco paintings, uh, Ajanta cave paintings. This image is also from the same project, Eros project. On the left, you have Neely, who's depicted here as lovelorn Radha. Radha is the consort of Lord Krishna, who we worship as uh, the god of love. Uh, this was Janmashtami, or Lord Krishna's birthday. So we 
decided we would go with this. And it was, of course, a collaboration between Neely and myself and my art director friend. The image on the right is uh, Adrij and Sayanti, who are a lesbian couple. Adrij recently underwent his uh, chest surgery, and this was on Rose Day this year when they came to visit. And I illustrated this image where uh, it's about how it's about the struggles they go through, a couple, lesbian couple goes through in the society, trying to be together and you know, choose to love whom they love. This image, uh, it's a triptych uh, of uh, Tanmoy, who's dressed as a Bohurupi or an impersonator. Uh, it's, uh, it's steeped in mythology. The central image is of goddess Kali. The left is Krishna Kali and the right is Chaitanya Kali, three forms of uh, Divine Mother Kali. Uh, this was during the, just during almost Corona times where Tanmay was seeking the blessings of the goddess to be free from uh, all these, uh, the uh, pandemic vibes. And also Tanmay is a gay person and his family, doesn't approve of his marital uh, doesn't approve of his uh, gay status and they want him to get married as soon as possible to a lady uh, they threaten him to take him to a psychiatrist or to reverse his sexual preferences and keeps him under constant pressure tanma's family is deeply religious and since childhood tanma has seen uh, these bauropin impersonators visiting uh, their house and hence uh, he tried to impersonate goddess Kali and seek her blessings to overcome all these hurdles faced by him with his family as well as the pandemic. This is a continuation of my LGBTQ project that I was doing with the subjects in the studios, but during uh, the quarantine times, it was almost impossible to invite anyone and we were all isolated. So I started doing still lives uh, the left and the right, uh, the left image is uh, on the uh, transgender hijra community. Uh, it's very symbolic and representational. And the right is about uh, another community, the snake charmers community. So with uh, this uh, quarantine still lives, I am touching on themes of uh, isolation, spirituality, anxiety, desperation, and queerness during the COVID-19 crisis. Um, I take gratitude in creating the still lives in the studios that might allude to reflections of the society in which I live. These images have no tangible outcome, yet I think it was uh, distracting me from the morbid reality that was all around here. And it was instilling a sense of self or at least being a part of the community, even if a virtual one. Uh, the still lives are taken, the references are taken from the Indian mythology, popular culture, and from the written works of Plato, Freud, and Jung. And it touches on themes of globalization, identity, community, politics, religion through these works. This image uh, is also uh, bordering on spirituality, uh, worship, as in religion, Hindu religion and uh, education and the transgender community. The one on the right is uh, like a stage setup, which I did uh, depicting the goddess of sickness or Ma Shetala, goddess of sickness and death, a disease. And I collected all these ritualistic items that might be used for her worship. And I constructed this still life, which suggests death and life and worship. It was kind of, the pandemic times, I tried to reflect on that. My next project, not sure as of now, because I'm still shooting the black and white images uh, of the Eros project, but maybe uh, a color, color section is due that I might end up doing with it, specifically with the transgender community. But let's see, not sure as of now. Okay, thank you so much for listening. Hope you liked it. Uh, you can find me on www.supranavdash.com. My Instagram handle is supranavdash. Thank you for listening. Have a good day. Take care wherever you are. God bless. Bye-bye.